This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seven-Day Adventists, and I'm Stanley Pallor. Coming up on this week's broadcast, BA rolls out the red carpet, and local churches move to love their neighbors. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. Thank you for joining us. A drive through service for Bahamas Academy's Supreme 2020 Secondary School graduates was held on Monday of this week, where the administration and staff presented the class with their diplomas and awards in their red carpet ceremony. A drive through service for Bahamas Academy's Supreme 2020 Secondary School graduates was held on Monday of this week, where the administration and staff presented the class with their diplomas and awards in a red carpet ceremony. Family members and friends chauffeured the graduates in limos, convertibles, and vehicles decorated in love and support of their accomplishments. In spite of the challenges throughout the school year and the adjustments made to the school's instructional style, Anthony Burrows, Education Director of the South Bahamas Conference, spoke on the impact of the pandemic. This has been a very challenging school year. Uh, we all know that the school year opened with the hurricane, Dorian coming in first, and us extending our wings. We took in 31 students from the Abaco area. And then to further complicate things, we entered into a new era with COVID-19. Um, this posed an initial challenge to us, but our teachers rose to the occasion and we began our online classes, which in my estimation was very, very successful. The vast majority of our students were able to use their devices to successfully complete the school year. And we see it as something that we will probably have to continue moving forward because of the stress on social distancing. But we are certainly up to the challenge. I want to personally congratulate the administration and teachers and the parents for supporting us during this because this was an unknown. Nobody knew what would happen, but we can certainly say that the Lord brought us through and we are grateful and thankful for his blessings toward Bahamas Academy. New learning techniques had to be implemented throughout the term to ensure that the students received adequate learning. Definitely we will be using virtual learning. Um, we have looked at using a blended learning where some of it will be virtual and of course some of it will be traditional. But that will be a better thing for the students and for the teachers. I must say um, God was extremely good to us. During our summer sessions we had some training in Admodo in particular and we were able to start I think the pandemic, uh, our first case was announced on the 15th. We were able to start classes on the 16th. We were able to use Edmodo, and of course, as time progressed, we were, we were on Zoom by the end of the week. And so I must say that God has been extremely good to Bahamas Academy and the teachers. They adapted very quickly, and so the transition was rough, yes, but actually um, we have found that there are some things that definitely we're going to keep because we were able to move ahead so quickly with it. Renique Adley, student body president, told of how the class was able to endure the challenges of the school year and grow as a result of it. It was a very challenging experience. However, we coped with it the best way we knew how. Even if that meant calling each other to say, hey, you need to get up for class, we did what we had to do to make it to this day. I guess I could just look back at this one because... I may have shed tears over this long process, but I guess it made me strong and I had to realize that no matter what happened, I must keep going and endure what I have to endure. We wish the graduates of 2020 the best in their future endeavors. I'm Parisha Ferguson, reporting for the SBC Media Network. The Philadelphia Seventh-day Adventist Church recently reached out to their community in love and support by distributing 150 prepackaged bags of essential grocery items to their neighbors in the Elizabeth Estates community who were adversely affected economically by the coronavirus pandemic. 
This initiative was a joint effort between the church's community services department along with their personal ministries department and Warriors for Christ, Adventurer and Pathfinder Clubs, private donors and ASI Bahamas. Their aim was to ensure that the hungry was fed and the presence of the church would be felt. Packages of non-perishable food items along with health literature in bright yellow reusable tote bags were distributed to the residents. Uh, actually engaging uh, with the, uh, those who live in the community and provide them uh, with packages of food items. And uh, believe me, the packages are healthy. Uh, they have some good food items in there. You have your starch and other uh, items to make sure um, that they get some nutritious um, food. So the, the church believes that uh, it, is, it, it doesn't just preach the gospel in words, but in deeds. And many times I think we fall down on the deeds aspect. So Philadelphia uh, must feel a sense of humility and joy at the same time that we are doing the work of Jesus Christ. Members of the community expressed their gratitude to the church on hand, while others phoned in saying how grateful they were to receive their love packages. The Philadelphia Church praises God for the opportunity to minister, and their desire is to always be the hands and feet of Jesus in their church community. Please stay tuned. We'll have your upcoming events after this short break. Are you ready for Vacation Bible School? We are, and it's coming right to your home. Kids love heroes, and this summer, instead of talking about the superheroes from the movies, we will learn about Bible heroes. Miriam, Samuel, and Rhoda were all kids that did little things that made a big difference. Each day, we'll talk about different characteristics of real heroes and how Jesus is with us and will help us be heroes by doing little things that will make a big difference. Kids will learn to be brave for Jesus, be devoted to Jesus, be caring to others, be bold in sharing, and be generous to others. The entire program will be available for you to do while you are safe at home. Begin each day at Bethany, where kids sing great songs. Learn the daily action point. Be generous. Jesus is with me. And Bible verse. And the Bible hero for the day is introduced. Then we head on out to explore the town. At Discovery House, they will hear the Bible story told by our great team of puppeteers. Next, it's off to the arena, where we will learn about a different animal each day. A favorite stop is always the Oasis Prayer Station, where kids will learn how much Jesus loves them, do an activity, and spend time in prayer. Your kids will love the fun and interactive learning at our Heroes Home Edition Vacation Bible School. Don't miss it. Sign up today. Welcome back to your Adventist News. Coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, there will be a joint service via Zoom hosted by the Inter-American Division of Seventh-day Adventists on the evening of Wednesday, July 1, 2020. The guest speaker will be Pastor Samuel Telemark, Prayer Coordinator. Topics to be discussed are fear, anxiety, grief and uncertainty, and economic crisis in families. There will also be a guest appearance from Inter-American Division President and Executive Secretary, Pastors Ellie Henry, and Leonard Johnson. For information on the Zoom link, please see the conference website. Vacation Bible School this year will be held online for our children within our individual churches. The theme for this exciting program is heroes making a big difference in small ways. 
Each church program will be customized to suit your congregation and to include our community friends. Inquire now with your local churches as to when your VBS program will be held. You can get more information from our conference charm department. The youth department of our conference will host a virtual Pathfinder Campery entitled Gideon, Favored for Life from July 24th to 25th. The speaker for this event is Pastor Damian Chandler of Capital City Church in Sacramento, California. Registration has begun, so please see your church Pathfinder Club directors for more info. For information on these events and more, visit our conference website at southbahamasconference.org where you can view the news as well as various programming and read the weekly logos. Food poisoning occurs when we consume food containing contaminants. The most common contaminators are from infectious organisms such as viruses, parasites, and bacteria. Some foods that can cause food poisoning are poultry, vegetables, and leafy greens, and pasteurized dairy. Having nausea, vomiting, watery, or bloody diarrhea, abdominal pain, and fever are signs of food contamination. Healthline suggests some ways to reduce your risk of food poisoning. 1. Wash your hands with soap and water before preparing food and right after touching raw meat. 2. Wash fresh produce before eating them, even if they're prepackaged. 3. Avoid cross-contamination by using separate knives and cutting boards for raw meat. 4. Pay attention to the use by date sticker. Don't use a product because it looks or smells okay. This has been Patrick Wilson with your health tip, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We go now to our news feature from around the world with the Adventist News Network. Thank you so much for joining us this week. First in the news, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in North America, or NAD, is speaking out after a full-page advertisement was published by a fringe organization in the Nashville, Tennessean. Not only does the ad briefly mention the Seventh-day Adventist Church, but the group also used quotes from Ellen G. White, one of the Adventist Church's founding members, out of context. A statement from the NAD in part says, The Seventh-day Adventist Church in North America is deeply disturbed by the two hurtful ads recently published in the Nashville Tennessean. The claims made against a Muslim community have caused pain and strife. We soundly reject these hateful and dishonest words. Further, we need to be clear, there is no connection between the Seventh-day Adventist Church and this group and their teachings, which serve to hurt and cause disharmony. The statement also requested the Nashville Tennessean repudiate the advertising and state there is no connection between the Adventist Church and the fringe group. To read the statement in full, visit nadadventist.org. Dozens of Wayu indigenous families in La Guarilla, Colombia received food baskets thanks to initiative of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and the Adventist Development and Relief Agency, or ADRA, in Colombia. The Wayu families have been forced to follow quarantine guidelines because of the coronavirus pandemic, and many have not been able to work and earn money for food. Almost a hundred of the most needy families were selected recently and adopted for several weeks, during which they were given food. The district pastor who oversees the work of the church in the Paraguayon Eliezer Tabadoa said that many families have been harshly affected. He said their economy depends solely on the sale of goods on the Colombia-Venezuela border. And since it's clo been closed since March 14 due to the coronavirus, there is a serious economic crisis and more so with the basic needs increasing. As the situation became more dire, church leaders pleaded for donations and as a result were able to assist the Wayu families with rice, beans, lentils, flour, eggs, pasta, milk, salt, and oil. The groceries were distributed in the months of April and May by ADRA Columbia in collaboration with the Samaritan Foundation and Adventist members. 
So far, church leaders have distributed 220 grocery bags in the municipal district of Maikau to the designated 92 families selected in La Guarajilla. Plans are in place to continue helping more needy families who are struggling during the quarantine regulations in the YU communities. That brings us to the end of our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Please feel free to share what is happening at your church by sending us your news stories and upcoming events. Feel free to email them to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News along with other programming, or to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, please visit and subscribe to the conference website, southbahamasconference.org, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook and Instagram pages. On behalf of our production team of the Adventist Television Channel 658, have a happy Sabbath and thank you for watching this week's broadcast. I'm Stanley Fallard for the SBC Media Network.